Listen, son. I am saying this as you lie asleep. One little paw crumpled under your cheek. I have stolen into your room alone. Just a few minutes ago as I sat reading my paper in the living room, a stifling wave of remorse swept over me. Guiltily, I came to your bedside. I scolded you as you were dressing for school because you gave your face merely a dab with a towel. I called out angrily when you threw some of your things on the floor. At breakfast I found fault too. You put your elbows on the table. You spilled things. You spread jelly too thick on your bread. You gulped down your food. And as you started off to play, and I made for my car, you turned and waved a hand and called, Goodbye, Daddy. And I frowned and said in reply, Hold your shoulders back. Then it began all over again in the late afternoon. As I came up the road, I spied you down on your knees playing marbles without your shoes on. I humiliated you in front of your friend by marching you ahead of me to the house. You could get holes in your socks. Socks aren't cheap, and if you had to buy them, you'd be more careful. <laughs> Imagine that, son, from a father. Do you remember later when I was reading in the living room, how you came in timidly with a sort of hurt look in your eyes? When I glanced up over my paper, impatient at the interruption, you hesitated. What do you want? I snapped. You said nothing but ran across in one tempestuous plunge and threw your arms around my neck, and your small arms tightened with an affection that God had sent blooming in your heart. And then you were gone, pattering up the stairs. Well, son, it was shortly after that my paper slipped from my hands, and a terrible, sickening fear came over me. It was not that I did not love you. It was that I expected too much of youth. I was measuring you by the yardstick of my own years. And there was so much that was good and fine and true in your character. I know you would not understand these things if I told them to you during your waking hours. But tomorrow I will be a real daddy. I will chum with you and suffer when you suffer and laugh when you laugh. I will bite my tongue when impatient words come. I will keep saying as if it were a ritual. He is nothing but a boy. Promise me, as I teach you to have the manners of a man, you will remind me how to have the loving spirit of a child.